Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be another unpopular opinion on things you need to stop doing once you turn 50. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. Okay, before I get into the video, I wanna get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you. Thanks so much for returning. If you're new here, I am Bridget on this channel. I do skincare, makeup, with a little bit of lifestyle videos sprinkled in. So if that sounds like you're a cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you join the family. So before I really get into this video, I want to say this is just kind of meant to be a lighthearted video. It's nothing to take offense to. If I mention something that you like to do or you still do, definitely keep uh, living your best life. You know, a lot of people have an opinion of what you should do and what you should not do especially when they don't pay your bills. This video is for entertainment purposes, but I do talk about uh, some things that you probably should uh, stop doing once you're 50. And a lot of those are health related and anything health related, all of us, no matter who we are, uh, we probably should, should stop doing those particular things. So anyway, the first thing that I want to talk about is validation. If you've made it to 50 and you're still looking uh, to be validated by whomever, if it's your husband or uh, your significant other or a friend or a father or a mother or a sister or whomever it is uh, that validation should come from yourself. Nine times out of 10, if you're 50, uh, you probably raised your kids. You probably have grandkids, or if you don't have kids, you have grown uh, nieces and nephews. Um, at some point, if you have reached it to 50, you have the ability to validate yourself. Let's say, for example, and this is something really simple. Let's say you go out and you uh, buy a new wardrobe, okay? And you come home and you want to see what your family thinks. And if they don't like it, you're gonna send it back, you know, or whatever. Uh, and you're looking for validation. Is it okay? Is this outfit or is this new wardrobe okay? Well, you have eyes. You actually know if the wardrobe is appropriate, but most importantly, do you like it? Another thing that comes to mind is is whenever I put on an outfit and I may ask my husband, well, how do I look? You know, I know how I look before I ask my husband how I look. <laughs> if I look extra fluffy in an outfit, I already know that before I ask him. I just want to see what he's going to say. And that's my whole point. Um, you have the ability to validate yourself. You don't have to look for others uh, for that validation. So if you made it to 50 and you're still doing that, just stop it. Just, just, just stop. All right, so next up, wearing booty shorts or uh, wearing clothes with your uh, belly button exposed and things like that. And I know that that's probably really unpopular because historically I've had, you know, I, I'll get a lot of women who are in my age group and they'll say, well, I, I wear what I want to wear. And typically those women have beautiful bodies. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a body like mine. So they probably could wear the booty shorts and the, the, the stomach showing and all this other stuff. And, you know, it sounds like it could be a little hateration going on on my end. But honestly, it's not any hateration. Uh, it's just that if you're 50 and you, you're wearing shorts that almost look like underwear at the store, I see that a lot. I don't know what it is at my grocery store, but at my grocery store, people love the thumbnail with booty shorts on and my husband and I have a running joke you know anytime I see a woman with booty shorts on I'll be like look 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 hey baby hey, look at her shorts look at her shorts he said those ain't no damn shorts <laughs> Okay, so if you're doing it, stop it. If you if you're exposing body parts that really only your significant other uh, should see, just stop it. Stop. Fifty years. Oh, I think it might. You know what? Really, forty. You know what? No, really, thirty. Yeah, thirty. <laughs> you probably should stop that at thirty. If you are 50, um, you know, if you're my age and you're still wearing booty shorts and you're still wearing your belly button out and all this other stuff, drop a comment below and um, let me know. Uh, but my guess, if you are, you probably got a banging body. All right, so next up, now, I just had to mention this one. I saw this when I was at uh, my class reunion and I think I was uh, 47, was it 46? <sighs> 
a <laughs> old classmate. You know how when you have a class reunion, they either have it at a restaurant or a bar or something like that. Well, tell me why my old classmate got up on the table and started dancing. If you've made it to if you made it to 50, really if you're 40, really if you're 30, stop dancing on stop getting on the table and dancing. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. And if you are 50 and that is something that you do regularly, let me know, like, what are the circumstances? Is it a normal, like, is it like a normal Friday night that you would do that? But when I saw her do that, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And I was going to say when you're at the club, you know, but when you're all right, when you're 50, do you even go to the club? I don't go to the club. The last time I went to a club was a club. Let's see, probably before me and my husband got married and we're going on what, 25 years. So probably 25 years ago. So, you know, but either way, you know, that's just something that you, if you do go out and, and I'm not saying that if you are 50 years old or older that you can't go out to the club. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying uh, that you probably wouldn't, would not want to get up on the table and dance and do all that other stuff. So yeah, let me know if that's something that you do on the regular, it's, it's, it, uh, it's, it's, why? You know, I'm just curious. So the next one is stop feeling as though you can't indulge in things or you can't do things that you enjoy because of, let's say you have kids or you have grandkids or you have a husband or you, you have uh, your parents that you have to take care of. You have other obligations uh, in life. So you feel as though you probably shouldn't indulge in this or, or in that, or let's say, um, let's say you're trying to lose weight and uh, let's say once a week or every other week you want to go get a shake. Well, that's actually okay to indulge sometimes. It's okay to enjoy things in life. And it just kind of makes you think of if you don't take care of yourself, if you're not able to take care of yourself and do the things that you're that you are happy with, how uh will how well will you be able to take care of others? So that's just something to think about. Next up, if you've reached 50 and you're still self-sabotaging, it's time to stop. Stop. Stop it. Um, call things that are not as though they were. If you are a, a little bit fluffy, when you look at yourself, say, I'm the finest thing that ever walked the earth. If your skin isn't as clear that as, as you want it, um, you look at yourself and say, I am beautiful. Just whatever self-sabotaging uh, things that you say or do, stop it. It's time to stop. Really, self-sabotaging is something that that really nobody needs to do. We, we all need to stop doing that. But sometimes we can make it all the way up to, you know, our 50s, even 60s or 70s and still do that. And um, that's something that I still need to master. Um, I'll do it um, in front of my daughter. And she's like, well, why do you say that, mom? Why do you, you really shouldn't say that. <laughs> she, like if I, uh, like, like if I say something about my weight, um, uh, just in conversation, she'll say, well, you really should do that or you really I'm like well I'm only speaking facts you know I'm I'm not uh living in uh uh, in delusion, you know, I'm not delusional, you know, I know what I look like. So, you know, I'm only speaking facts. That's what the, that's the way that I'm thinking of it in my mind. But I'm saying all that to say is to speak positively about yourself always. Uh, just start doing it. You'll find that it's going to make you feel so much better. The next one is stop avoiding help when you need it. And that can be really anything. Let's say you're having some issues and you need help you need to go get it checked out go ahead and get it looked at I have some things going on with myself now that I need to go to the doctor to see about but I truth be honest I'm just afraid I'm afraid of the results you know it's just a lot of things um, but that's something that we really do need to avoid as women because truth be told as you get older you know that's when all of the things start to break down and you just want to make sure that you stay as healthy as possible so go ahead um, if you're feeling anxiety or depression or like me if you've got medical issues going on and you haven't got them checked Please stop avoiding it. Go get 
check. All right. So the next one, and it kind of uh, relates to the one that I just talked about, but stop uh, relating all of your issues as, or just brushing it off as old age. Um, again, if you're having any type of whatever going on, just stop saying, oh, well, I'm getting older and not going to get it checked out. Again, that just relates to the previous one because we really want to stay as healthy as possible while we are here. So just remember, everything isn't related to old age. Some things are like our gray hair. Well, you know what? The gray, I have a gray streak in my hair and that's not related to old, old age. I actually inherited that from my big daddy. So, and I think my, my gray streak started coming when I was 30, late 20s, 30, something like that. So, you know, not everything <laughs> I was going to, what I was trying to say is, you know, gray hair, you know, you could just kind of write that off as old age, but that's not so because I know a lot of young people that have gray hair uh, that aren't old, but anyway, stop doing that because everything that's going on is just not simply uh, you growing older. And the last one that I want to talk about is stop avoiding strength training and that's uh, lifting weights. And I'm not talking about heavyweights they have the little um uh really bean soft bean bag kinds that you could put on your wrist or you could put it on your ankle and that's just to kind of build your bones up and that uh, will help with osteoporosis in the long run strength training is something that you really do need i'm not talking about go in like bodybuilders or nothing like that. I'm just talking about, you can get a two pound dumbbell, or like I said, you can get those little beanbag things that uh, just kind of go around your wrist and do your strength training. And it's also important uh, to stop avoiding stretching. Uh, if you walk, make sure that you stretch. Those are some things that can keep you from being injured and just kind of help your work out a little bit better. So that's it. Those are the things that I think that if you're 50, you need to stop doing now. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you think about everything that I just said. Also, let me know what you stopped doing once you turned 50. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.